getting out because dad is a monster. And I don't care if he's my dad. It's always the same old crap with you, isn't it? What do you mean? Same old crap? Well, exactly what I say. Some drama, some catastrophe, and then you have to come running to me to tell me all about it. This is bullshit. I don't have to listen to it. Yeah, but I have to listen to you, right? Is that how this works? I have to listen to what you have to say. But whenever I have a problem or an issue, or oh God forbid, an actual viewpoint, yeah? It's not a viewpoint. It's just vicious. Vicious? It isn't vicious. Have you any idea what it's like to be on the receiving end of your soapbox monologues day in and day out? Yeah? Why are you being like this? I don't deserve this. Well, maybe it's about time somebody told you the truth. The truth about what? How needy you are. Needy? I'm not needy. <laughs> Even when you say that, you sound needy. Jesus, Phil, it's the same story over and over again. Look, it's tough love. Yeah, that's what this is, like some fucking intervention. You've got to get your life sorted out and stop relying on me to justify all your decisions. I know what this is. I am not kidding, Phil! It's exhausting. Actually, it's fucking exhausting because you take and you take and you take. Look, I'm sorry I didn't start the bathroom. They were the wrong taps and that wasn't my it's fault. It's never your fault, Phil! Isn't it? You never take responsibility for anything. Yeah. Well, I think you should take your menopausal attitude somewhere else and cool off. What? Well, that's what this is about, isn't it? I can't believe you're saying that. Hormones? That's it. I am done. Uh, before you go, you're out of control. Get it, you fucking self. <laughs>